So today we're showing the Nano Hummingbird, which is a project we've been working on for four and a half years, originally um, funded by DARPA in uh, 2006. We're now culminating in the final demonstration of the actual finished Nano Hummingbird. So to make something fly and hover at these small sizes, you would normally make a helicopter with a, a rotating a wing. Uh, DARPA was interested in having us push the limits of technology and at the small scales. So they wanted us to look at hovering flight of just a flapping pair of wings and a body. The original aircraft just kind of looked like a crazy wooden structure with sticks and it didn't look like anything. It had two wings in there somewhere. but. Um, the design just evolved over the years and over the generations and the steps and stages that it went through and eventually it looked kind of like it would have a vertical body and two wings and that kind of was roughly the layout of a hummingbird so we kind of naturally evolved it to that shape at the very end. The biggest challenge on, on the project was um, getting the controls to work. So the first thing we tackled was the propulsion and generating the amount of thrust to lift the weight that the final aircraft would likely be, because it has to lift its own batteries, its motors, its structure, all the electronics. We tackled that first, we got it to a point where it was reasonably efficient. Then we had to figure out how are we going to control it, because it has to be stabilized in all axes of movement. And that took um, many, many months and years of effort, and, and we went down uh, wrong alleys and went back and Eventually, we did find some solutions that worked out well, and uh, that was the biggest um, gratification of the project, was getting the controls to work. So you can get a sense of the sound level. The earlier versions were much louder at this point. You should be able to let go of the controller momentarily. 